what is going on ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching to this brand new video i want to try to help you with figuring out all the steps what you need to do with your elgato and the playstation 5 and there's a lot of troubles or problems coming up with the playstation 5 and elgato what i hear and was read a lot on the internet is that people have a black screen as they're putting it on very simple take your elgato out make sure that your playstation is directly connected to your screen make sure you go to system hdmi and put enable hdm hdcp off then put your elgato back on it will work make sure of course that if you have an elgato game capture it only can do 1080p that your output from your playstation 4 is not more than 1080p so don't put it on 4k because it won't work very simple like that easy fix there you go <laughs> of course with the 4k capture cards you can just put it on 4k and you have to make sure that your screen also supports 4k otherwise it still won't work so make sure you have all of that then the sound problem of the playstation 5 is i think the most talked topic about the elgato problems this moment um there's a lot of game captures cards from elgato what have different settings i have the 4k 60 uh pro mark ii i think is the name it's such a long name i have that one uh i know there's a lot of problems also with the hd 60s and i'm just trying to help you here as best as i can the output device on the old playstation 4 we could make sure that through the hdmi cable and through our own headset we could do it at the same time but with the playstation 5 you can't do it we had of course the optical cable in the playstation 4 but in the playstation 5 it's not there i hope that there is like an update coming into the future the playstation is listening to all the criticism that this is coming back but for now we have to deal like this way if i put here an hdmi device click it on there you guys can see here my Elgato will have the sound perfect nothing wrong with that but um, i don't hear anything in my headset that is a big disappointment so what i need to do is put it here onto my controller headset if you're playing just without recording i recommend you put it on your usb headset for me it's a lot better in sound than this but hey you know it's okay for just a recording or the live stream i don't really care so much once you put it on your controller headset, you need to have a chat link cable from Elgato. Very simple. The chat link cable goes inside your controller, aka headset, and there, there is a female output. Input. Just input, yeah. Here, you need to put your headset cable into it. You can't have a wireless headset with this. It won't work. Um, I don't know why. 2020, you know, Elgato. Maybe some fixes would be nice. Maybe with the new update from PlayStation, it will be all fixed. Uh, but as you can see here, there's a split up into it. The other cable goes all the way to my computer and I put it into the port line in. It should be on the back of your computer, on your motherboard. Just try to figure it out. Uh, it's called line in. You can also use microphone in also. Not microphone out, but microphone in. It works exactly the same. Now that you put your cable back into your line in or in your microphone in, you need to go and work on your desktop and on your computer so all the stuff is done for the playstation if you have more problems on your playstation and you can't figure it out please let me know in the comment section below i have a lot more knowledge about this right now and i will try to help you as good as possible and very clearly good if you have the 4k capture utility you also need to download the game capture hd for some reason because elgato decided for the 4k capture utility there are no audio settings thank you elgato super good awesome great so what you need to do is go to your game capture hd this also of course works for your game capture uh, card for the hd 60s very simple he will show the hd 60s or in this case the 4k 60 pro click here on the little settings wheel and you will have here your audio settings what you need to do here is i put my input device on other by the way because there is no playstation 5 yet you just click it on other and your audio input needs to go on line in okay so it will be automatically on hdmi won't won't work because we need to put it on line in if you have the hd 60s there's a little setting box right here i know called analog audio check that put that back on it will work just click on that little bar like just like this it will be right here for analog audio make sure that's checked and close it all off we're going back to OBS. But as you guys can see here, I still don't have any audio sounds. Uh, what Elgato, of course, also says goes to properties. 
fantastic. Uh, you need to make sure, of course, here that custom use custom audio device line in if your line in cable is inside your computer and not in the HD60S Elgato itself. Okay, make this very clear. Uh, configure a video. This is for the HD60S. Go to configure a video over here. And then you can click here on analog audio. Well, you, when, you, when you do that, you will have immediately sound on the HD60S. So there's no problem at all. It will work right here. But, and here comes the solution, the creme de la creme for the 4K. As you guys can see, still no audio sound. And this is the thing that Elgato doesn't tell you what you need to do. Click here on the plus. Go to audio input, capture. Name it whatever the F you want. Click on device. Click on line in. Not on line Elgato sound capture. Click on line in. And click on OK. It's reading it all. And now when I press my buttons... You can see here the audio is working. Now, when I click this one away, look at that sound. I can hear it through my headset right now, and it's also working on my OBS. Now, quickly, of a little tip to me the chat link puts the sound very, very soft. So, click here on the little wheel on the right click on it to go to advanced audio properties. And for me, this worked at the best at 10 decibels. Just to crank it a little bit up. Um, as you can see here, the sound is already a little bit louder. Pressing some buttons here. You can see it's like around 40% on this top level of sound. Uh, what of course can help, of course, too, is when you're in a PlayStation 5, press one time the home button on your controller, you'll hear the sound, headphones. What I prefer is to put it in 75% because it's already pretty loud into my headset. But you can crank it up. And now you will hear those scores also in the video. The video will go pretty much loud. But this is just a background sound and it's a 75%. When you're sitting there with a lot of people talking into your party, this is the way you need to do it. Make sure, of course, just to be clear this out, make sure that your, uh, your friends inside the party chat also put their voice to be allowed to be recorded. Could help also very much. So yeah. This is how you fix all of your Elgato problems. If there is something that is still not fixed for you, please let me know down in the comment section below. I have a lot more knowledge about it once again, and I will help you out. I will make it my mission. For some reason, Elgato is not very clear with customer servers. They are like, yeah, we, we put it online. Just watch this link. But it's a couple of these settings. There are not even in those links. I, I've studied for hours and hours in the evening but I could not find it out and could not figure it out until I figured this out. So, drop a like on the video. Some comments down if you need some help. Subscribe, of course, if you want to see some gameplay from games. That's what I normally do. This is the first time, but I wanted to help out people out so much this year. Just with this, because it's super, super annoying. So, if you need help, please let me know. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe. Click the notification bell. And I'll see you all into a brand new live stream or video here on the channel. Peace out. Bye-bye.